Happy Saturday. I want to talk to you about how to guarantee supernatural success. This is very easy. You're going to be amazed at how easy this is. Huh? Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart. Getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Great things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor. Huh? I am beautiful. Somebody said to me today, he says, you sure look good for 34 years old. I said, I take care of myself. Do you take care of yourself? Huh? I do. That's why I look so good. Um, I'm getting up there. 34 years old. I'll be 34 in August. Huh? But I take good care of myself. That's why I still look so good. Huh? I know you people are good looking. Because I know what some of you look like. I saw, I saw one of you, your picture on Facebook today. You changed your profile picture. I saw that. And I said to Mary, I said, this is, because Mary knows who you are. And Mary went, whoa, she is gorgeous. I said, yeah. And so is a lot of other, a lot of our other partners are gorgeous too. A lot of people in our church are good looking. My goodness. We got a great looking church. And a great looking pastor. And first lady too. Huh? Hey, make sure you call me today. Uh, if you need results, if you need your prayers answered, you need healing, whatever it is you need, Jesus told his disciples, go out, preach the kingdom, and heal the sick. So, we heal the sick, just like when we preach the kingdom. And poverty is financial sickness, so we heal that. We heal financial sickness. I do, all the time. And move people from poverty to into abundance. Let me tell you something. If you're hurting for money, that is financial sickness. If your bank account, so my bank account used to be sick. I'll tell you that. It needed some big time healing. Share this, share this minute, this, this video with everybody you know, please. And make sure you call me today if you did your offerings and donations yesterday, because a lot of you did. Yesterday was offering day. But a lot of people do it on Saturday. If you do, that's okay. But make sure you call so I can speak God's word for word blessing over you and break the curse of the law again. I want to break the curse of the law and speak the blessing over you on a routine basis so that we can guarantee that you're going to live a curse-free, blessed life. Now that's what Kenneth Copeland and Keith Moore and T.D. Jakes and Creflo Dollar and all those people have in common. The Hobby Lobby guy, the people who own Chick-fil-A, they're all, all super Christians. They all have, what they have in common is they live a curse-free, blessed life. And it's not hard to do. It's not hard to do. I want to show you something here today. How to move into a guaranteed supernatural success. Success and failure are both supernatural. They start in the supernatural. Almost everything starts in the supernatural. Why do you think I talk about it so much? I talk about spiritual warfare. Everything is spiritual. Healing is spiritual. It starts in the spiritual. Jesus, read the Gospels with the emphasis on look for the spiritual part of his ministry. When he stood up in the boat, and he said to the storm, peace be still. Let me tell you something, folks. It is all spiritual. That storm was spiritual. When he said to the woman, uh, he said to the woman who was bent over, he said, you are loosed from that spirit, that spirit of infirmity. He's dealing with the spiritual. That's supernatural. He's doing spiritual warfare with that woman. And he got her healed. That's what we, it's all spiritual warfare. It's all supernatural because the natural 
will follow the supernatural. If you're cursed for sickness, you may feel good today, but I guarantee you're going to get sick. If you're cursed for poverty, you're going to stay broke. But if you're blessed for abundance, I don't care what your bank account looks like right now, you're going to be rich. If you're blessed and it's been spoken over you to be healed in the name of Jesus, I don't care what your symptoms are right now, you're going to be healed. Because the natural always follows the supernatural. And I always do the supernatural first. Look at this. Jeremiah. How many of you read Jeremiah? Chapter 17, verse 5. Thus saith the Lord, Cursed is the person who trusts in another person, or who trusts in themselves. For a person to trust in somebody else for what they need is to live a cursed life. That person, whether they know it or not, is cursed. A person who trusts in the doctors to heal them, their, their health is cursed. Their health is cursed. If you trust in the doctor to heal you, you are totally subject to what the doctor can do. At some point in your illness, the doctor may say, there's no more we can do. And if you're trusting in that doctor, you're going to die. We were trying to get this woman healed one time, just not a few years, a couple years ago. She'd come to our church. Somebody brought her on a Wednesday night. One of the people in our church brought her. And she got healed. Totally healed. We got a report three, four, five months later that she was completely cancer free. And she, at, when she came to our house, when she was brought to our house, she was in stage four cancer. I cursed that cancer, told the spirit of death to leave her, told that spirit of cancer to come out, and she was healed. But the doctors talked them into more treatment. And they got to the point where they started to, the doctors scared them. And they started to depend on the doctors. The cancer came back with a vengeance. Now she's dying again. We went to see her. Prayed for her again. Her husband's total focus was on the doctors. As we were leaving, he says, I got to call the doctor. He's totally focused on the doctor. I called. Do you need me to pray for her again? Because I knew she was in such bad shape. He said, I can't talk now. I'm waiting for the doctor to call. By the next day, she was dead. The doctor couldn't heal her. But I could have. Through the power in the name of Jesus. If he would have just depended on God. But he wouldn't. He was totally focused on the doctor. If you're focused on your job to provide for you, you're locked in to what your job can do for you. But look at this verse. In the same chapter, two verses down, it says in verse 7, Blessed is the person who trusts in the Lord. Huh? If you're, if you're trusting in the Lord instead of the doctors, now it's okay to go to the doctors. And we do. I got an appointment on August the 10th for my checkup. I'll get my blood work done. So it's, it's all, all that's good. I take the pills he gives me. Not much. We do the natural. But let me tell you something, folks. I do not depend on that doctor for my healing. But this verse says, if you trust in the Lord, 
your healing is going to be blessed, which means you're going to get healed. If you trust in the Lord, your finances are going to increase and it doesn't matter about your job. If you're trusting in the Lord and you lose your job, it doesn't matter. Because you'll get another one very quickly. A better one. I can't begin to tell you how many times we've had that happen. Can't begin to tell you.